What's happening guys? Fallen from OTB here, and I know it's been a while since the last video, but we do have something very special for everybody here today. Um, we had the honor of having uh, some just, just an amazing clan uh, called the Masters of Kush, and these uh, we had a few guys come over to war with us. We wanted to have some fun getting on this one, and uh, these guys are just an excellent three-star clan right now. Uh, we're super happy to be able to have the pleasure to uh, battle alongside them. Uh, in that quest for uh, for learning more in the game and uh, seeing some really good attacks develop, and um, so we're going to showcase this uh, this whole video here to these good guys and their attacks. So let's jump right on into it here. Number eight attack at number four. This is Bronx, and uh, he's going to do his work here up on this base. And uh, so we have kind of one of those layouts where the defenses are in a ring here across the outside. And that just as everything goes in, it's one huge square pattern. Um, so I really like where he's coming in here, too, because he's able to snipe those outside defenses with the Wizards. And uh, better, to, uh, better to do it that way and uh, clean your way across uh, than having to use hogs for doing all those different defenses across the outside. Um, that CC is pulled. Uh, Queen's looking like she's going in the right direction. Everything's kind of behind it here. Uh, a little bit of the kill squad is fizzling out, so he's sending in those hogs right away. He knows the Queen's going to lock on and kill that CC. And uh, those hogs are coming in as he's going to get a heal up right here uh, over those core ones. He wants them to get and, and make sure that they can take up uh, that whole side of the base as some more hogs are coming in. And, of course, there was a crazy place bomb there on the on the right side. Um, but here he's working his way in with the perfect heal here and uh, still a heal to go into this final little sector uh, of the base against those point defenses and everything like that. Uh, still plenty of hogs alive as he uh, now just is able to heal them up and uh, also protect against uh, what could have been an obvious bomb there right next to the air defense. Um, and uh, there wasn't, but uh, and also just thinking about that king being there in the corner too. Always good to have a heal over that just to kind of minimize that damage. And uh, we are in cleanup mode as this base is going down so quickly. Um, it's a perfect comp to be able to bring. Those bombs are really random, uh, but you kind of expect that uh, when you're looking at a base like that. So, um, you know, super good job, man. That was, that was a really nice attack. And uh, who do we have here? We have number seven, um, Danny Blubber. You're going up against a base that uh, I want to consider is kind of similar to what we saw last time. So he's going to get that CC pull right away. Um, he did do this a little bit differently um, as he pulled everything over to this corner, which is uh, really, really nice away from the defenses and everything. Uh, he's got a good entry point when he's able to get in that very corner there and be able to put up a jump, which will lead to queen and core all at the same time. Um, so some really important things are going to be dying here. Um, exactly how he needs them to. Um, so notice we do have the two golems going in right there, wizards to back it up. He's, you know, he's a little bit thick on the uh, on the wizard count, so you know, cleanup won't be an issue later. Uh, if you know your hogs are going to do the trick, you know, let's let's trust in them. And also those witches getting in there, and it's just a perfectly placed jump right there, as uh, uh, everything will be moving to where they need to go. And this kill squad is really, of course, there's a bomb down there that took out a few things. Uh, but he's still got a pretty strong squad here. And he's going to send in that kind of an Asian wall slash uh, kind of surgical method here across each bottom side. And uh, it's all about controlling pathing as uh, as your core is kind of tanking. And uh, he moves everything up into those Teslas that are in the middle. Uh, perfect heal over them right there. And uh, Kill Squad's still looking really, really strong. Uh, to have your queen alive to do that sniping is just what you need to get the that base dead correctly. Um, and especially so you don't run out of time as well. Uh, so he does put his final heal there. He, he doesn't want to risk losing hogs. Uh, there's a bomb, of course, there as well. Um, that's, that's all part of the plan. Um, and that golem is tanking. It's doing exactly what it needs to do. It's made it that far. Uh, might as well continue to be useful across the base and help out those hogs a little bit. Take a little stress off of them. And uh, and those uh, extra little queen, queen cleanup wizards right there are going to do everything that they need to do. Uh, queen is in full health. Uh, not a problem there at all. Uh, super nice comp to bring. Uh, I know these guys like their hogs, but uh, they're, they're really good at these hog attacks. Um, so that's just a pleasure to see. 
Uh, we're going to jump up to eight here. Bronx, his second attack on number eight. Uh, swinging his, uh, his mirror match here in the war. And definitely a base, you know, you kind of want to bring hogs to. Uh, really, there, there wouldn't be much else to do a better job uh, than to be able to clear out all those, uh, all those point defenses uh, without little, you know, consequence of traps and things like that to get in the way. Um, an easy CC pull, another reason to uh, to be just safe about it. He gets uh, he gets that uh, witch down, and she dies right away, unfortunately. Uh, but he does get his use out of the uh, the poison spell right here, as uh, it's taking the max damage now. Uh, so he didn't need to commit too much to it, unfortunately, that witch had some problems. Um, but he's got the two golems here. One starting on the, uh, you know, the very top and the bottom of this whole kind of area where the funnel is going to be easy as those wizards come in. Um, a jump up that's leading directly to Queen. Uh, he doesn't want to risk any more troops here, so he just wants to get the job done, get the Queen down, uh, see what he can continue to survive with as uh, they're all kind of punching their way along here. And um, here come the hogs right away. <clears throat> Everything still is looking very healthy. And um, so the hogs are coming in here on the bottom. Um, some rough Teslas right there. It was kind of a rough start with those hogs, but he does have a few that are shining through. And, um, you know, he can still get the benefit from the heel right there uh, to, the, to that extent. And we do have those Teslas that are core as well. Uh, Golem's still alive, about to break into the Golemites, but uh, he's got the hero power right now as those hogs are just uh, coming around the outside there. Um, and that final heal, really for the last part that he needs to, to be a little bit nervous about. Any kind of point defenses and things like that. He can handle a couple last defenses with that amount of hogs. Um, so sometimes you just got to know you can keep them alive. And, and uh, you know, then they're going to go the distance of the base and be able to turn on, you know, if you're dealing with a king or something like that. Crazy double bombs in the middle finally get triggered. Uh, doesn't really phase the king. He's fine. He wants to go lay a whooping down here. Um, so that was just, uh, that was supreme as well. Uh, a couple wizards across the outside, and they meet in the middle for a nice celebration right there. Awesome job there, Bronx. Um, you can definitely tell he's he's got the skilled hog attacks, and uh, just, it's got to be commended. That's a wonderful job there. Um, so Danny Blubber here, again, hitting number uh, 10 um, on this sort of a longer base. Um, once again, something you're going to want to bring hogs to. Uh, defenses are just too close together, and um, you know they're really I don't know to to use a back end like loon option or or hogs um, could you know could work on a base like this, but um, you know go with what you're comfortable with, and if you're set up for hogs, then then bring them to this base. Uh, that's definitely the reason there. So I like how he he dedicated that kill squad bottom into just uh, cleaning out all the kind of pathing there. Uh, he did find the Tesla trap, so um, so that's kind of good to know, you know, what you're up against right there. And he just made it so the base is more symmetrical, um, which equals less distance that uh, hogs need to travel uh, with those um, with those defenses down there on the bottom. Um, that's totally fine. Easy CC pull right there. Uh, the kill's going to be just as easy as well. Doesn't need to commit too much to it. Golems come out early as well, uh, backed up by just a couple wizards. And uh, they're doing everything that they need to do on each side uh, to make sure that they go forward. And uh, he did break into that wall very, very nicely right there where the jump goes up. And there's a lot of ground being covered uh, that that queen is going to be able to snipe. Those golems are still looking healthy. Uh, their enemy queen is about to go down right here. And uh, he's looking really, really good. And it's time to just kind of start thinking about the hogs uh, just about now as they do come into the top right there. And um, saves a few for, you know, a back end or kind of a fill-in position right there. As uh, they're all just kind of moving, uh, you know, somewhat together. Uh, two by two, you know, groups is, is just fine there. And now you got the golems tanking those Teslas, which really do some big damage to hogs. And, uh, and the last few hogs are there to just kind of um, lay a little waste there to the outside. And make sure that those final defenses are cleaned up very nicely. And that very last heal there was... Uh, you know, pretty much just a flex, because that was brilliant. Uh, such a nice job on an attack like that. He's got both of his royalty alive, and uh, those extra wizards for cleanup, you couldn't ask for much better uh, on an attack like that. That was absolutely excellent. 
and the poison spell, which is right there in the middle to make it look all nice and pretty. That's where the party's at, right there. Um, super nice attack, man. Uh, really look forward to seeing some more stuff from you here in the future, too. Um, and uh, lastly, we're going to hit up number 17. Uh, Mr. Car Ramrod. And uh, just one of those names you can't help but say twice. Um, so I'll, I'll sneak that in there. Um, so anyways, here, this is our THA attack, and uh, Mr. Ramrod is going to decide to uh, get that easy CC pull from top there, uh, just to find a nice little pull, and when you have a lot of room on the outside, it's, it makes your kill squad a lot more effective, too. Um, so things can kind of spread out a little bit and breathe without having to deal with, uh, you know, um, some cannons or something sniping your business from the side, or, I don't know, so that, that always happens. And it is not a fun experience. Um, so he's going to make sure and get the benefit of uh, of the poison spell right here. As he takes a little bit of time and getting that going. And of course those wizards to back it up. Right now the, dam the damage is really coming in on that dragon. And uh, the wizard's just there to help. You know, he's still got 8 for cleanup. You don't need to, uh, to waste them all at the beginning when that's all they're doing. Um, yet at the same time you still need enough. So um, he did start a little group of hogs up there just to take care of that pathing uh, and that potential bomb spot, which will, they will now move around. And the rest of the hogs are just kind of cleaning and sweeping across the uh, across each side now as they happen to go. Um, of course, you know, two more heals to go as everything's covered up top there over the king. Very smart call. And uh, all the right defenses are going down now. Uh, you can tell everything is looking really healthy as that final group of hogs comes in top. Uh, once again, just to correct the pathing and keep things moving in the right direction. And uh, the hogs are finally taking down those last bits of defenses, a heal right over that bomb. Uh, what more could you ask for when uh, when you're using these hogs and uh, and they need to get the job done? Um, so that final Tesla goes down, it's cleanup mode, and uh, he's got all those wizards to spare, you know? Just use them next raid, that, that base is done. It is over. Uh, really, really nice job here. Uh, for a TH8 base that, you know, can throw you off sometimes. Um, and we always talk about, you know, using uh, dragons or hogs and which one is more effective. Well, if you see that, you know, those defenses are close enough together, if you know that those double bombs can be avoided uh, or triggered or whatever you need to do, that's, you know, that's one of those, uh, a base like that, uh, where you can just put heals over your bombs and it's going to account for everything. Uh, just definitely fine, as long as you know ahead of time what you're up against and, uh, you know, can anticipate those sorts of things happening. Um, that's um, that's really nice there. Uh, so we I, we did a really good job this war. We got the uh, we got the big stars going. We got 17 out of 20, three stars, and, uh, of course, three TH10s, which we did everything that we could do to those. Um, really kind of even brought in kind of the high percent. Um, you know, more than enough kind of approach there. Um, this war was super fun. I definitely look forward to uh, um, hopefully a good future of Warren with these uh, with the Masters of Kush. And uh, we just uh, we honor you guys here, and thanks for swinging by and, and having a good time here. And um, so let's do some more videos here in the future, you guys. Um, this is Fallen from OTB, signing off.